Hey, Bob. Man, I am so excited that school's over and we're out of there for the summer. That's right. I feel we've been crawling to the finish line for about a month now. But finally it's here. We made it. So, what's your summer starting to look like? Well, I know you've been pretty bummed since I was gone with my family on that long weekend break a couple of weeks ago. I'm a-thinking we got to come up with something good to keep us busy and quick. Maybe we can rope old Luke into the plans. That sounds great. But I heard Luke might be taking a trip to Hawaii with his family. Every time he comes back from Hawaii, we can't understand what he's saying for at least a week. I'm not sure I understand half of what Luke says anyway. I tell you, though, Bob, one thing I know for sure is I'm going to do a lot of sleeping in on Sunday mornings now, that's for sure. But I have to say, short sleepy, sneaky, sleeping in on Sunday mornings might be the most best plan you ever thunk of. Now you got it, Bob. You see? Hey, good morning, boys. I'll bet the two of you are really excited about summer break. Summer break. Man, that's got an awesome ring to it. It sure does. I mean, I'm going to miss seeing all of my friends, but I'll see them when school starts again, and then we can catch up on what we did during summer break. Whoa, Sadie. Let's not talk about going back to school already. Yeah, Sadie, we just started summer break, and you're already talking about going, you know, back to school? Ugh. Seriously, Sadie, I love that summer break and taking vacations and not going to the principal's office and especially sleeping in on Sunday mornings. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Thanks, uh, thanks for straightening me out on that, Stinky. I can't believe I almost forgot about that added summer bonus. Hmm. Just because school is out, you're not supposed to skip out on Sunday morning worship services. Don't get me wrong. Vacations are fun. But even if you take a summer vacation, you never take a vacation from God. I got a bad feeling Sadie's here about to ruin our Sunday morning parade. You know what I mean? You see, God is always with us. Here at church, when we're at home, and when we're at school. Even when we're on vacation. I got a bad feeling you're right, Bob. Here it comes. See, when I go on vacation, I take a little book with me to read at night before I go to bed. It helps to remind me that God is always with me, whether I've attended worship on Sunday or not. A book? What do you mean, like Harry Potter? Sadie said a little book. Harry Potter ain't no little book, knucklehead. No, the free little book I'm talking about is called Christ in Our Home. And they have them here at Rejoice, free, up front at the welcome table. No matter where I'm at, I read it daily. Daily? You mean like picking lint out of my button bu belly button daily? Think whatever you want. I'm not touching that one. Um, no, Stinky. I'm talking about this little book where each page has a message that you read each day. And each page also has a short prayer. This is really easy to do. And it only takes a couple of minutes. You can do the daily reading or just the prayer in the morning or at night. Whatever works best for you. But let's get this straight. So all I need is just a couple of minutes and I can choose what time of day I want to read? I'm yeah. not too sure about this. Mornings are a good time to do a reading or at least a short prayer. When I start out my day praying, it gives me a positive mood for the rest of the day. And it gives me strength and helps me deal with problems in a gentler way. Or, when I do a reading at night, I can think about my day, and that helps me recognize my daily blessings, and gives me positive thoughts at the end of my day. Hold on, Sadie. Did you say these books are free? Yes, and they're out at the welcome table, and anyone can take one. And remember, it's not just for vacations, it's for every day of the year, wherever you are. Hey, Stinky. I just thought of something. Praying daily is one of the seven marks of disciple life, and this can make doing that really easy. Well, nobody likes easy better than me. Wait a minute. There ain't a test or anything we have to take, is there? No, there's no test, Dinky. Now, come on. I'll show you where these books are so you can get one of your own and start reading today. Great idea, Sadie. And jeepers, since we're going to be so close to the front door... 
I'll bet we can get the slip out of here and no one will even notice. Oh, no, you guys don't. Everyone will notice, since you just told them all. Oh, never mind. It's a good thing I already did my reading this morning. Now I have time to pray for those two. We all know they need it. <laughs>